All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to edit using the GoPro Quick App. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back to my channel. If you're not, either way, appreciate you watching this video. So the last video I did, I ran through all the functions on the GoPro Quick App. You can find that video here. Today I'm going to be concentrating on the editing functions that also rest within this app. If you do find this useful, please do give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. So the first thing you do is go into Quick App. Okay, and then you're going to go to your little head icon at the top right. I've already set my account up. You can see that I've already downloaded the app and paid for it. But if you haven't, it will guide you through the sign up process, which should be playing on my phone at the moment. Just so you can see what I did. And then it will also show you what you get for the subscription. So it will guide you through all the benefits of, of signing up for the subscription. But you also get a month free. So you can try it out, see if you like it. And if you don't like it, then you just cancel the subscription and you don't have to pay anything. It's just no lose, really. You might as well give it a go. If you've got a GoPro and you want to make some videos using this app, give it a go, see how you get on. So once you've paid for the subscription or taken out the free subscription, first thing you're going to want to do is download some footage onto the app so you can start editing. So what I've done is I've just filmed some wakeboarding clips off the internet on my GoPro and I'm going to use those for the purpose of this video. Okay, so here we are in the quick app. So I'm going to click on the GoPro icon in the top right. I'm going to control my GoPro. I'm going to switch my GoPro on. Okay, so now it's linking up with my GoPro. Cool, so that's all linked. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the first screen. We're going to go to View Media. And as you can see, these top five clips are the clips that I recorded earlier on. All I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of those clips just by holding down the first one and then just tapping on the ones that I want. Okay, so it's all of those ones. And then I'm going to go to Download. And then it will download all of these clips onto my app. Okay, now if we go to our front screen, we're going to click on this media section in the bottom right. Now you can see that these clips are now on our app. Now what you can also do with the app is you can use other clips on your phone for editing along with the GoPro footage. So if you had something on your cloud or something saved to your phone, you could also add those clips in with your edit. I haven't, so I've only got the clips that I've downloaded to the app. So I'm going to choose them by holding down the first one and selecting the other ones. And now I'm going to go to this icon in the bottom left hand corner, which will then add it to what's called murals. So we'll give it a title. So we'll just call it wakeboarding. Save details. And now when you go in to your GoPro quick app, this will be the first thing that you see. And it's already created its own edit with those five clips but I want to play around with the edit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this main wakeboarding screen and then I'm going to go to this pencil in the bottom, click on that and that's going to take me to my edit screen. And now you can see we've got all our clips. One, two, three, four, five and GoPro's added its logo at the end. So what I'm going to do first of all is go into each clip and just top and tail them so that they're the right length. You click on the pencil on the first clip then we could just trim the video using this trim function. Okay, so you can just trim the clip and use as much or as little of it as you want to. Now I'm going to use most of this clip because it's pretty cool. So I'll keep all of that one. I'm just going to click tick. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next clip and do the same. So let's just have a look through this clip. That's okay, that's okay. Don't really want that bit at the end, so I'm just going to trim it to there maybe and click the tick button. Okay, and then we'll go to the next one and do the same. So I'm going to go to trim. Don't want this bit at the start really. I want it to start about 
about there, I reckon. And yeah, and finish there. And so we click tick. Okay. And then we're going to go to our last clip. I think it's the last one. It might be one after this. And do the same with this one. Okay, so I like most of that, but I don't want those names at the end. So I'm just going to trim it down to there. So click tick. And this clip here, I'm just going to delete by dragging it into the trash can. So now we have all the clips, the lengths we want our clips to be. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do some really cool sort of speed ramps. Okay, so if we go to our first clip and we go to speed. Okay, so let's find a bit of the clip that we want to slow down. So maybe here where he's scooting across, we'll slow that down. So if we get to there and we put a plus. Okay, and then we drag this out. When it now plays back, it will get to that spot and then it will play at half speed. Okay, so it's a cool little function. So let's find another bit on here. Maybe this bit here we want to speed up. So if we put a plus there and we go to eight times. Press tick again. So if we now play this clip back, you can see when it gets to this first bit, it slows down there. Okay, back to normal speed, normal speed, and then it should speed up here. Then it speeds up and back to normal speed. So you can do loads of cool stuff like that, loads of little speed ramps. Let's just press tick for that one. Let's do it on another one, so maybe this one. Okay, press speed again. So let's find the spot in the clip that we want to slow down. Maybe that little flicky does. Let's slow that down. So if we put a plus there. Okay, and we want half speed. So, and then back to normal about there. Press tick. Now if we play it back, play it back from the start. It's going normal speed and now half speed and back to normal speed, okay? So I'm not going to do any more speed rants for this one, but you get the general idea. Okay, so let's just get, let's just go through and do a few other things. If you wanted to reframe your clip, so if you wanted to do it so it's at an angle, then you can do all that here, so you can change the angle of the clip. Now I'm not going to do any of that for this one, but you can see how you do it. You can do it to fit the screen, rotate, you can flip it horizontally or vertically just by using these buttons. Okay, so let's just go to tick and we'll leave it as it is for this one. So filters, so these are just basically colour LUTs really that you can just put over the top. So let's just find one that we like. Um, don't want anything too jazzy. Okay, so I quite like that one. It's quite saturated. Let's just stick with that one for now. So this is rooftop. And what you can see, if this little slider here, you can add more of the effect or take some of the effect out. So if you want it more or less, then you just use this slider. So let's keep it on about 100%. Okay, so let's leave it on 100%. And what I'm going to do now is this one's called rooftop. I'm just going to put it on each of the other clips. So if we go to the next clip, And then what you might also want to do with each individual clip, there's more options to the right. So if we page to the right, you can add text to each clip if you wanted to add some text. I'm not going to do that for this one. You can also do some minor color correction. So you can change the exposure. Just Again, it's all with this slider. The contrast, you can change. Vibrance, temperature, so you can give add a bit of warmth or make it a bit bluer, depending on your preference. You can bring up the shadows or the highlights just by using this slider. So, I mean, nothing too advanced, but 
also nice additions to this app. So let's say we've got all our individual clips sorted. Let's go to done. Okay, and this will just play the whole video through, okay? This is where you can add some nice effects to the video as a whole. So if we go to this icon next to the play icon, the plus icon, then you can choose what sort of style you want the video to be. So let's choose this glitch style. Okay, so when you play it back now, you can see it's added these glitch effects to the video itself, which, you know, just makes it a bit more fancy. You know, I quite like this glitch effect. You've got all these different ones. Is it travel one here? Okay, so if you want something a bit more sort of travel based, then you'd go for this style or this launch one. Okay, well you get the idea, they're all slightly different. And what you can also do is if you're not happy with that song, you can go to the music icon in the middle. So you can choose all different types of music. And if you do sign up to the package, the paid package, you do get access to all the GoPro originals on here. They're all licensed, so you can put them online and you're not gonna get any copyright strikes because they're all licensed. So that's nice to have your own little music package here. So you can change the music for your each for each individual video. Okay. So I quite like that one. I'm going to leave that one. So next, you've got this little stopwatch icon. If you click on that, then this you can just change the length of the entire video. This one's only 19 seconds anyway. But if it was longer, say it was a minute and a half, then it would have this Instagram icon at the right hand side as well so it would tell you when it gets to a minute if you want to use it on Instagram then that's when you need to cut your video and then you can cut the video down there and it will just speed everything in the video up so it matches the export settings for Instagram so it's a nice little feature and then the one on the right this is where you can change the actual screen ratio so you've got your 16 by 9 if you wanted it square for Instagram then you just click on this one by one and it'll make the video square okay so that way you can get it in a nice square format for Instagram. If you wanted it vertical with nine by 16, and again, just does it automatically. So if you want to upload it to Instagram stories, then that's a great option. And you've got your four three, which is similar to your 16 nine. Okay, and then you just go to save, click save, save as new. And then you'll see that it's saving the new media Okay, so now on this front screen, if we paste through these videos underneath, we get to our video that we've just made. Click on that, play it. Okay, so we've got some speed ramps, we've got some filters on there, added our own music, and then we just go to upload. And then you can save to your photos or just share it straight to the media by pressing the share media button. And you can share it to Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. So straight from this app. Okay, so really nice intuitive little app. I really like it. Like I say, it is paid to get a lot of the functions. You can get some of the basic functions without paying for it. You will need to pay to get access to the features that really make the app worth having. So but it's $49.99 a year, $4.99 a month, so it's not a massive amount of money for a really decent little app. If you're away on holiday and you only had your phone and a GoPro, then you could make some sick little videos and upload them straight to your social media accounts just with your GoPro and phone with no computer or anything involved. You know, I've done that all on my iPhone. I would recommend it. I never made it. You know, it's quite decent. For, you know, for the amount of time I've spent on it, I haven't really done anything. I've done a few little speed ramps, but you can really go to town with the glitches and stuff and add some titling. You've got yourself a really nice little video. So, so that's it for this one. I really hope you find it useful and get some use out of this app. If you've got a GoPro, 
I highly recommend getting this app because for 50 quid a year, you can make some really nice videos, upload them straight to your Instagram account without having to even go near a computer. You can just use your phone, your iPad or whatever. And the functions in there are enough so that you can really clean up the video. You know, you can put some nice filters on there, do some minor color correction, add some music, some titling. It does all the transitions for you. You just choose the style you want. If you have enjoyed this video and found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've used this app and your thoughts on the app. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel, releasing content on Monday and Thursday at the moment, audio and visual gear reviews, editing tutorials, Premiere Pro tutorials, drone tutorials, all that sort of thing. So it'd be great to have some new faces on board. If you're already subscribed, Appreciate you as always. Make sure that those notifications are switched on so that I can let you know when new content is released. But that's it for this one. Enjoy the app. Catch you in the next one.